Quick video today, guys. This is a crazy new feature. Uh, you're gonna love this. I just have to show you this one. So this is a clear, what I'm about to show you is a clear downfall of Polybase software. Uh, unfortunately, in Polygon software, it's insanely complex and tedious to run a simple circular cut in a sphere with a bevel. Because what happens is we get these nasty artifacts. And this is one of the limitations of Polygon-based software because it just starts overlapping with these edges, whereas in like a CAD software, or what I use personally, Moi 3D, it doesn't really have this sense of topology in it. It just, I can run a cut like this in a second in a CAD software. And it shouldn't be this difficult in Blender, and it no longer is, so watch this. The usual way to fix a situation like this would have been to apply your Boolean, select all the way around, and then come in here, Boolean cleanup, it would do a subpar job, No, like not that it's a bad thing, it's just limited in terms of how well this will work. Um, it does a good job, but in terms of perfection, not as good as I'd want it to be. So you'd usually have to slide the vertices out of the way, and you know, you have a decent result. We got kind of lucky in this case, usually you'd have a lot more to slide around. So Machine just made this a lot better. Um, this guy is crazy, I don't know how he does it, but he does it, so check this out. No longer do we have to do this manual, um, you know, vert sliding and bullying cleanup mess. It's, that's annoying. Literally what we do is we come in here, we select this area, and then we go over here to this offset cut menu. Now you're not going to have this unless you turn it on in the experimental features. So you go down here and turn on the experimental features. And if you use the offset cut, it literally, watch this, what it's doing is it's eating the geo as we expand this. No matter how far I go out, it basically eats up any geo it goes over. And there's no way to do this in like a, a regular strategy. This is, this is crazy. So what this is actually allowing us to do is it's allowing us to give a buffer for this bevel right here. So that way there's no vertices or edges for it to overlap with. Completely circumnavigating the, the, the issue of having to you know, slide these vertices and merge them together, it already eats them up for you and gives us this nice buffer. So now all we have to do is basically the strategy is offset cut, bevel, and you're done. You have absolutely no artifacts to deal with. And it's just crazy. So that's all you really have to do. And this is like as close to a efficiency or a NURBS efficiency that I'm gonna find in Blender or any polygon based software. And this is why we love Blender because we have these lovely add-on developers, you know, fixing these things for us that um, people like me and you might not know how to fix because we don't, you know, code. I don't know how to make stuff like this. I wish I did, but um, lo and behold, we have a new solution. So just wanted to show you guys this trick. It's really useful and it's going to save you a lot of time, especially for something as trivial as running a Boolean cut in a sphere. It's no longer that complicated because of this tool. Make sure you use it. Link to Mesh Machine in the description. That's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.